Shalom, Shalom again, Israel. Coming back again with part two because my phone cut because somebody called. But um, I want to give uh, our praises to our power, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakadash. Yahweh is the most high God, and Yahweh Shai is who the world in the cause Jesus to Christ. Rakadash is the Holy Spirit in the pale of Hebrew. Double honors to our teachers, the elder apostles, the elder bishops, and prophets of Great Millstone who've been ruling well through the Spirit. Lord, when the Spirit is continue to continue to be upon them, to endure, and to be sincere, teaching the Most Highest Word, mighty shalom to the hopeful elect that are scattered four corners of the earth. Lord, when the same Spirit is upon you to endure and be sincere, for Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, shalom to the Aquathium that are believers of His Word, pursuing in their lot, being a loving and silent and virtuous wife, and low will and most have mercy on the other brothers and sisters, it's not in the faith. Going back with part two, um, I'm going to just title this uh, Wicked Women, but it's really just going back into the title we did before, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. Destruction is an example for you wicked women. This is what she said. She said, when you're as pretty as me, you can cheat and still keep your man. I got both of them in a motherfucking chokehold. I got one that spend on me and one that love on me. Why have one of the homies when you can have two? She's keeping it. She's trying to keep it in the family, right? She want to have sex with both of the homies. And these brothers looking at each other daily. And she just confident goes back to the word Babylon means confusion America is the place of confusion they try to say the land of the free the milk and honey nigga please now I'm gonna be flipping uh, back and forth to the KJV and the GNT because I want us all to get smacked on a certain level so first I'm gonna read Surah so chapter 25, Ecclesiasticus chapter 25, verse 16 in the KJV, right? This is what it says. The KJV is on the left-hand side. The GNT is on the right-hand side. Verse 16, it says, I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. That's not talking about, you know, a dragon, like a Komodo dragon, uh, 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 a reptile, you know? So we'll we'll rather dwell with a dragon and keep a, than keep house with a wicked woman. You know, this is facts. This is for men that's trying to serve Yahweh Bashim Al Shai to the best of their ability. Let's hurry up and go to Sirach, the forty-second chapter, in verse thirteen. Let's not lose it. Verse thirteen. Let's not lose it. Where's verse thirteen? KJV. Okay, here we go right here. It says, For from garments cometh a moth, and from a uh, women wickedness. Right? It says, Better is the courteousness of a man than a courteous woman, a woman, I say, which bringeth shame and reproach. In the NLT verse 14 says, a man's wickedness is better than a woman's goodness. Women bring shame and disgrace, right? A man's wickedness is better than a woman's goodness. See, a woman still is not on the level of a man at all in, uh, in unrighteousness and righteousness, right? But we must play our role. And Lord willing, a man can have motivation to be a better man where he don't, where he don't have a handful of wickedness, you know, because this truth cleanses us and it's supposed to cleanse uh, the men and the women, right? Back to Ecclesiasticus Sirach, the 25th chapter, and I'm going to read verse 16 to 18 in the GNT, right? That's the right hand side. You can read the KJV while I'm reading the GNT. I'm reading 16 to 18. It says, I would rather live in the same house with a lion or a dragon than with a bad wife. When a wife is in a bad mood, her expression changes until she looks like an angry bear. 
her husband has to go and eat with the neighbors where he can't hold his bitter signs right now i just wanted to say a side note because it's saying husbands and girls be like oh i'm a girlfriend i'm not a wife now if we was to be technical yahweh bashim our shy word in the way he wanted us to move overseas all nation sex compliment sex uh is the consummation of the marriage and finalize it to say that you are together now Brothers was doing contracts. They was doing diaries for virgins. We're a defiled nation. Now, if a man and a wife agree, which is Sirach 25 and 1, if they agree on terms, hey, they agree. Right? But men that I that I know, that I'm, you know, that I'm around and the men that I'm watching, you know, and they really in this truth, the value of a woman is her virginity. First and foremost, we can say a woman want to read, she want to be in this truth, which is good. <laughs> it's definitely good in this time, you know, but just going with scriptures in an old time, oh, a, a woman was a, a diamond when she was a virgin. No man touched her. You can mold her how you want, you know, but yes, America really starting in the Roman Catholic Church. They established putting a ring on the finger and getting down on a knee. Now, the Lord, nowhere in the scriptures, it deals with girlfriends, boyfriends, relationships. It was marriage. Or you had a, um, a harlot, a whore, a prostitute. You know, America is giving you all these other things in condoms. You know, so for anybody to say, sister, if you're dealing with a dude and you letting his rod take you to pound town, that is your husband. You know, regardless if you if you don't see it or get it. But you, you can stay in your lane of saying this. You a girlfriend. That's my boyfriend. Even the men, I don't have a wife. That's my girlfriend. The scriptures still pertain to you, right? It's, it's better to dwell with a scorpion and a lion. It's, it's better to deal with a lion and a dragon. And I'm going to keep saying all different wrong animals than to dwell with a wicked woman, you know? And the women that truly fear Yahweh by Shema Shai is going to try their best to be a man's desire, a man's peace, right? Um, reading verse 19 in the KJV It's the yellow highlighted It says all wickedness Is but little To the wickedness of a woman Let the portion of a sinner Fall upon her You know The wickedness of a woman Why you think lot wife couldn't handle it Women are a weaker vessel Even more this is why women should be With God for men And Women should have it somewhere in their heart, deep in their mind, that they believe in Yahweh Hashem Shai, deep in their heart that they want to 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 be a a woman. And a woman really is a female servant. She wants to serve. Her main thought is serve. What may I do? What do you want me to do? Do you want me to jump? Do you want me to run? But I understand in American society we're too watered down for a woman to think that she can be a servant. You know, but the 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 daughters of Zion. When they come back in this, they're going to understand. But let's keep it moving so we can stay on point. Um, dropping down to verse 21 and 22 in the KJV. It says, stumble not at the beauty of a woman. I brought this one out because this is what she said. When you're as pretty as me, you can cheat and still keep your man. Excuse my language, bitch, please. You know, Sirach 25 verse, no, Sirach 26 verse 12. Is it, is it 12? Or is, or is or is it uh Sirach 25 25 in the GNT? A shameless woman is considered a dog. In the GNT it says a uh, shameless woman is considered a bitch. You know? So reading it again, verse 21, it says, Stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. You know? Women, women are not just a piece of meat. She's more than that. But this helps us stay in the narrow when we in this truth. You know, this is not saying that a man can't look at a woman for a beauty, but don't stumble at a woman beauty that you you stop the order. You stop the motion. You stop thinking about your high by shimmy. I was shy. There's so many women in this world. You'll see your you'll see your wife. And then the, the Lord just out of nowhere just had this sister just walk right past your car or walk down the street or something or walk in the store that you walking into. The Lord created beautiful women. And we don't, we don't want to stumble where we going off, you know? We still want to put order on, right? And still, 
We don't want to look at this woman as a piece of meat that we just want to bust, right? Especially talking about the daughters of Zion. Straight, straight, solid, straight to the to the point. And if we wasn't looking at women as a piece of meat, things would last longer. We'd be able to put a, a household in order. Verse 22, a woman, if she maintain her husband, is full of anger and impudence and much reproach. Right? When you read in the GNT, it says when a man is supported by his wife, there is sure to be anger, ignorance, and humiliation. A bad wife will make her husband gloomy and, de and depressed and break his heart. Show him, show me a timid man who can never make up his mind. And I will show you a wife who doesn't make her husband happy, man. You know? A man that's gloomy, ought to just go, just follow the line and you'll find out it's a, it's a wicked ass woman, man. You know? That problem is because this woman ain't making her husband happy, her man happy, her boyfriend happy. This is about uh, um, happy husband, happy life, or happy husband, happy husband, better house. Happy husband, so on and so on. <laughs> you get it. Let's just keep reading the, in the uh, GNT. It's getting crispy. Verse 24 it says, Sin began with a woman, Eve, and we must all die because of her. You know, unrighteous, the serpent, and the righteous was Adam. She chose to listen to the serpent, right? She chose to go the other way. It says, Don't let a bad wife have her way. Any more than you will allow water to leak uh, from your certain, your faucet. So what would you do? You would correct her speedily. And guess what? So rock, um, I mean, Ecclesiastes uh, 7 and 5, I believe, it's better to hear the rebuke of the wise than the songs of fools. You know, you should want to hear the rebuke of the wise. Real wives is going to want to get corrected. You stubborn, wicked wives, you don't want to. Like the other lady said, I think I did a video on, she said, uh, my man, listen to me. He follows me, you know, and that goes to First Ezra chapter uh, three. No, chapter four, verse 17 to 22. A man go out his wits for a woman. Right. But but the Lord didn't create that. The Lord didn't 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 set it up like that. Verse 26. If she won't do as you tell her, divorce her. And we can you you look at this. Look how Yahweh by Shem Shai divorced Israel because we didn't want to go the way that he wanted us to go. Our nation is so defiled. If one of these brothers find out, I mean, Lord willing, they do leave this bitch alone. She's not considered a woman. She's a bitch. Anybody that get uh, uh, offended by that, this wasn't for you. Solid on on what I'm saying. You know, she don't she don't even deserve to, to be she don't even she don't even deserve like to, <laughs> she really deserve a nuke after that you know but hey um all praise to your by shimmy i was shy lord willing lord willing she is of that number that will repent and be converted so let's just get that and close out this is acts chapter 3 and verse 19 what does it say it says, repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. You know, the refreshing is in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. When we see our Lord coming, it's over for this place. For the two thirds, you're going to be destroyed. You know, and for the righteous, your peace is here. Your deliverance is here. Your kingdom is here. Soon as Yahweh Shai is on his way to come get you, that is our peace. That is our joy, you know. So, Lord willing, the sister, you know, repent. Lord willing, the brothers repent, man. Be converted, coming back to Yahweh Shem Al Shai. You know, that's uh, Sirach 27, verse 3. If a man don't hold himself in the, the fear of Yahweh Shem Al Shai, his house will be overthrown, you know. And these, if these men know, they must don't fear the Lord Yahweh by Shema Shai. And Lord, well, and probably through the Rakakwa uh, Dash, they trying to make this girl an example that she a hoe, that she a slut, you know?
they probably making her an example. Because to be real, to, to be real, this girl is an example for a hoe. If she allowing two different, two different Oscar minor winkies to, to, to enter in her, she's a, a revolving door, you know? And she's an example of a slut. She's an example of a whore. She's an example of a slur. She's an example of Yasharala. <laughs> Plain and simple. You know, Lord willing, this was edifying. And for the sisters that's trying, Lord willing, you can continue to do better. Um, and let's continue to pray, you know, for the nation of Israel, starting with the elect of the elect, 144,000 and on down. And Lord willing, you can continue to endure. Pray for me and I'll pray for you. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.